one of the areas that I'm extremely interested in and I want to make sure that you know we're going to be covering some of these controversial issues throughout Turkey and also do the contrast comparison with the United States where I think for some people has become a matter of it's too late because everything is gone, everything is owned, everything is copyrighted as far as seeds are concerned. Little farmers have no voice, no choice going up against huge multi-billion, trillion dollar companies or fight it in court. So join me, let's talk about seeds, GMO free seeds, seed banking, the seed movement here in Fethiye, supported by Fethiye's mayor. So join me. Mısırlar Monsanto'nun değil, değil, değil mi? Değil. Not Monsanto. These corns are not Monsanto. Peki nereden bu? bu? Uh, they are, I mean, they are coming from uh, the local farmers, and they collect them, they put, and they distribute to the villagers actually. So the villagers are growing this again. So they reproduce again and again the same. So it belongs thing. once the villagers gets it. It belongs to back. villagers, yeah. and the villagers can later collect this and yeah. replant it again. Yeah. This is this is this is amazing. This is good because I've heard that almost 90% of corn in Turkey is now has the GMO and Monsanto stamp on it. Is that correct? Yeah, unfortunately, it's correct. But uh, now we are creating cultural awareness here, social awareness, and we are trying to um, motivate people to produce more. Especially the farmers. We start with farmers, and then uh, if we start with farmers and we support them, we can take it back. God, I love you. I mean, this is such a beautiful thing to see.